let's take a look at the blood's most prominent cell, the red blood cell. Red blood cells, or erythrocytes, take up almost half of the blood's total volume, giving a red color to our blood. Their main function is to transfer oxygen from our lungs to vital parts of our body. Larger molecules, like glucose, enter through small pumps or channels. A macrophage has pulled us in, and we are submerged in the cytoplasm, a gel made mostly of water. There are three different types of strands that make up the cytoskeleton. Microfilaments are the thinnest strand, measuring only seven nanometers in diameter. The surface of the nucleus has its own membrane, similar to that of the cell. DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, is a molecule that carries our genetic code. In the process of transcription, a segment of DNA is copied into RNA, or ribonucleic acid, containing a single recipe for protein creation. Studied with ribosomes, the RER maintains a vital role in protein synthesis. The protein is then transported in a vesicle made from a portion of the RER's membrane. Mitochondria are free-floating organelles, typically referred to as the powerhouse of the cell. There's an incoming virus attack headed for the cell. Thousands of viruses have made it past the antibodies. There are too many viruses. It looks like the cell is not going to survive. <laughs> 